All right, so there is a plan um, that would connect the trolley in San Diego all the way into Mexico. Uh, so there's a, a proposal uh, aiming to reduce wait times. It would be the first of the kind in the nation, a cross-border trolley, um, and they're, they're looking at doing something so similar to CBX where you, you basically board the trolley and cross the border um, through a, a pre-screening process similar to the CBX process to cross the, the bridge into the airport in Tijuana. Um, so it's Sandag is discussing the, the project and how to make it possible. Um, so we'll see how, how that happens. They're also discussing a, a lane on the freeway designated for ride sharing and self-driving vehicles. Um, the, another one of the proposed um, ideas Sandag has um, sort of like a carpool lane for you know, ride share vehicles and self-driving vehicles, obviously. Uh, cars are, are starting to go that way. So this all came up during Sandag's uh, conference over the weekend. Moving on, um, just a, a fun list of pumpkin patches to visit throughout the county. Uh, Liberty Station has one. Um, there's another one in La Jolla, um, Pacific Beach, Escondido. I can share this link in the chat if anybody's interested. Um, especially those with, with young kids around. Um, so share that in the chat after this. Moving on, Mario Logan residents have been upset. There's a biodiesel plant that takes recycled like French fry oil and other things like that, and then converts it into biodiesel. And a lot of the neighboring residents have complained about the stench from that plant. Uh, so now they're, they're petitioning the air pollution control district to, to with a petition from the Environmental Health Coalition to try to get that, um, that plant shut down. Uh, it's an industrial business um, that converts cooking oil from restaurants into biodiesel. It's over on Newton near Main Street. The Padres will be having a playoff series at Petco Park at least one game. They did beat the Mets in the wild card. And we'll be facing the Dodgers. Uh, first game is today in Los Angeles and tomorrow's game two. Game three is at Petco Park, which ticket prices have soared for that. I just paid $260 for a park pass. Doesn't even include a seat. Um, but I got to go and root on my Dodgers. So <laughs> bought myself a ticket to go give the Padre fans a hard time. Anyhow, the ticket prices start at $250 and go up to uh, three, $400 just for some upper level seats. So most expensive seats go for $4,300. Anyhow, it's not often you get to see a playoff game at Petco Park, nonetheless, the Dodgers, so. Yeah. We won't hold it going. against you, Raphael. <laughs> <laughs> um, the um, voting has started, so ballots are out. You can now go vote at the Registrar of Voters. There are ballot boxes that are uh, located around the county um, where you can drop off your ballot. Everybody should, who's registered, should have received a mail ballot and you can just mail that back without any postage. But there are also drop off locations set up around the county. Moving on. San Diego uh, was ranked as one of the fastest growing incomes in the United States over the past few years. Um, so they're, um, they ranked San Diego as fourth highest increase in household median income in the nation. Uh, and and that in, the, the data includes the entire county. So San Diego County, uh, and this was also adjusted for inflation at the fourth highest income. I think San Francisco was still the highest. DC was number two, Seattle was number three, Boston was um, coming in next and then San Diego. The lowest was Tampa. Uh, but obviously, you can see there's a lot of uh, tech hubs and government hubs. Just a reminder, the city elections that are up for election are all the odd numbers. So District 2, which is the coast, District 4, which is Southeast San Diego, District 6, which is the Mira Mesa area, and District 8, which is Barrio Logan down to San Ysidro. Um, there was a lawsuit against Instacart. Instacart and the city attorney has settled that. 
Uh, so they will be paying $46 million um, for basically mislabeling the, the workers and not paying them properly. The city has lifted the no fault eviction ban, um, but some city council members, including Council President Ilo Rivera, are, are looking at trying to create other policies to take the place. Um, so we'll see where, where that ends up. But at the moment, um, it has expired. Um, and people are looking at alternate ways to bring back um, additional tenant protection. The, the city has seen a major drop in affordable housing permits. So less affordable housing has been um, permitted in recent years. Uh, so that's an interesting uh, statistic. Planners in San Diego are pitching a new definition for sustainable development. Currently, your proximity to transit is the main measure um, as transit priority areas are the main um, qualifier for different incentives that the city has. Um, so it, it basically covers all land within a half mile of a major public transit stop, which is as the crow flies and it covers um, you know, it goes across areas like canyons and freeways that may make it actually much further to get to, but because it's as the crow flies, some areas that are actually further from transit than they appear are, are still eligible. So they're looking at replacing it with a more complex one um, that's hidden in a in basically the some upcoming updates that the city is doing to the building regulations. Um, so. They're, they're trying to redefine transit priority areas that are already defined by state laws um, and, and basically change it to uh, sustainable development areas, which extend up to one mile along pedestrian pathways like sidewalks and bridges, but it, it's not as the crow flies, it's gonna be um, basically how long it takes you to walk there in one mile. Uh, moving on. Here's the comprehensive code update. If anybody wants to ask in the chat and I'll share that link as well. San Diego was named America's greenest city. So Wallet Hub did a, a thing. The top five are also Portland, Honolulu, Fremont, California, Washington, DC. Yeah. The Get It Done app based on an audit is saying that it, it often gives incomplete or confusing information. The um, other cities are using 311 systems, but the city has their own app called Get It Done. And the audit basically says San Diego needs to catch up with what other cities are doing um, by establishing a 311 phone system where people can make complaints instead of having to do it on the app. Uh, the city has declined to get that done, but they said that they would be uh, looking to upgrade the Get It Done system. Number one complaint on Get It Done is graffiti. Number two is parking. City are, are forcing the unsheltered to take down tents during the day. I just drove across the five freeway going into downtown this morning uh, and they were picking up tents. They're probably trying to clean up for the big playoff series against the Padres. And uh, they, they are enforcing um, people to take down their tents during the day. Um, in South Park, there was a bathroom that was covered in graffiti. So dog owners took it upon themselves to cover the graffiti with a mural. Well, they were cited and kicked out of the park and the city promptly painted over it with tan paint. Um, so the graffiti wasn't getting painted over, but the, the mural they had spent time and money doing did. So obviously the dog owners of South Park aren't very happy with the city at the moment. And the city basically said that they needed to get a permit. They didn't do the permit process. and um, that's why they had been painted over and why they were cited by park rangers. So and a saga continues with the dog owners of the Great Street Group. Here's a rendering of the Seaport Village development. The developer has now said that they're going to need up to $550 million in public funding. Uh, you can see this is the current Embarcadero North. Uh, you can see that they're planning on installing a beach and other um, an additional boat slips uh, with major development behind it where Seaport Village currently is. San Diego's avocado production has plummeted thanks to the drought and heat waves. Uh, the crops are down by 46% from uh, 153 million to 82 million in production. So 
Avocados, if you're a fan, are going to be more expensive. Stock up now, put them in the fridge. So this was a, a study on the um, housing markets that are cooling the most. Now this is by their definition. And their definition of cooling has two factors, uh, which are the price reductions and um, how it compares to sales of previous year. Boise's in at number one, Austin at number two, Phoenix number three, the Bay Area number four, specifically San Jose, Las Vegas five, Salt Lake six, uh, Sarasota, Florida number seven, and San Diego came in at number eight. Um, it was a 35% um, decrease in uh, homes sold, and then 17% uh, of listings had a price cut over a one year period. So those are the main factors they're looking at. Um, and that concludes your city update for today.